Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight uh, we're back in the Iowa but it wasn't like it was something I wanted to do tonight. I, I've been playing and some of you probably in the games with me one way or the other. Uh, but I, I got a new ship. I got the York finally and unfortunately I'm not enjoying it. <laughs> I'll be honest. Um, the York has been a pain in my neck. Now, it's not entirely the York's fault. Some of it's mine. It's learning new ships. Um, it goes from having the 150mm rapid-fire guns to having 210mm ridiculous guns. Uh, but the problem that I've been having the most with them is the fact that it has good range, because it's 210mm, but it fires 700 feet straight into the air. <laughs> so it makes it forever for the rounds to impact the target that you're looking at. So you got to give... Stupid leads on sh on ships that are like way out there. So hitting fast moving, even medium moving targets, is rough in the York. But after quite a bit of frustration tonight and getting a bunch of meh, I mean, don't get me wrong, I've had some decent games in it. I just had a bunch of meh games too. Um, I decided to jump in the Iowa for one last match, and then I'd get off for the night. And this is it. So we are. Doing our, our normal kind of strategy here, um, I'm not a big fan of this map so much. It's not a bad map, it just it doesn't like lend itself to me very well. Uh, those look very good, by the way. Oh, I mean, we got a penetration, but come on, man. A couple overpins. It's a shame. <laughs> it's really a shame. But uh, we start reversing because he starts firing our high explosive at us. We don't want to give him that. The Iowa straight ahead of us is going to do the unthinkable, which is sail straight into the cap, begging for it, broadside on, in front of another Iowa. Now, in a normal game, this would probably be the end of his story. But in this game, not so much. <laughs> like, come on, what is that RNG? Just on both sides of his ship. Sorry, can't, can't let you hit him, Spartan. He went broadside on. We got to give him a pass. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I, I, I understand some of us uh, know what we're doing in the Iowa, so you got to kind of balance it out a little bit. And uh, he goes back to being a bow tanker, and he's saddling in for the long ride. So what you're going to see here is my strategy versus another Iowa that's bow tanking. Now, I like to reverse, to pull them out. First of all, he's in the cap. You don't want him in the cap. Second of all, this Atlanta on my team is a genius, but at the same time, an absolute fool. <laughs> like, that can be the same. You can have both at the exact same time, and you're going to see what I mean in a moment. Now, he's requesting support, and that's not unusual. Everybody does that when they're about to make a stupid mistake. I do the same thing. I'm like, hey, follow me. No. <laughs> If I'm going to do something stupid, it's probably not a good idea to follow me. And this is one of those times. But I am able to support him. It's not like I'm leaving him high and dry. I am engaging this Iowa the entire time. But the problem is that the Atlanta is going to be spotted doing what he's trying to do. And, I mean, for obvious reason, there's multiple ships there. It's not just the Iowa here. Uh, but he's going to try to sneak up, and he's got a Miyoko right there as well. He's going to try to sneak up on this Iowa and torp him. That's not a bad plan, uh, except the Atlanta has ridiculously bad torpedoes. I mean, they are the American four and a half kilometer fail torps. Uh, so you don't want to be behind a ship trying to chase it with fail torps. It doesn't work. So as you can see, secondary's going off, the rear battery's going off. That Atlanta is in a hurting right now. He is far too close. That being said, he does get his torpedoes off. That's probably about it. <laughs> and he gets solid hits on the Iowa with his torpedoes, and this helps me out quite a bit. So while I say he's an absolute genius and a fool at the same time, he does manage to help me out quite a bit here because that Iowa just took two torpedoes, which took a lot of his health. And I know what you're thinking, but Spartan... If he, if he loses some of his health, doesn't that a bad thing? 
Yeah, kind of, if you're after damage. This game wasn't so much about damage, it was about playing well. Alright, I've been bow tanking this whole time. He has some stupid RNG in this game. Like, this is one of those games where the Iowa's like supposed to be doing its thing. And unfortunately for me, RNG was not on my side here. He seems to be getting penetrations every time he hits me. And what I'm doing is he's kind of sailing at an angle off towards the right. So, trying to shoot into the, the bottom of his ship, see, that's one of those ridiculous penetrations. He's shooting at the front of my ship, and he's getting penetrations for it, which is obnoxious. What I'm doing is I'm shooting up into his superstructure and trying to get penetrations. That way, it's far more reliable, and you don't have to worry about the bounces that you get off of the, the main armor belt that goes around the ship. But as you can see, like, this game is just like, nah, Spartan, this is not your day. You should have hung it up. You shouldn't have came. But I refuse to give up. I just used another heal. I'm not going down without a fight. This Iowa has lost all of its health. There's no reason for me to lose this. He's starting to turn again, which means I've got a nice, juicy shot straight into that superstructure. And we get one two pins and they weren't even good pins <laughs> god bless america that's the problem when you shoot at the superstructure with armor piercing with a large caliber gun you get some over penetrations what you really want is those nasty little shots straight through and down into the ship but now i have run out of room and he's gotten close enough that i can charge him now he had already shot at me so i'm waiting for the perfect opportunity to finish him off but I gotta hurry because I gotta get him before he fires his guns and we do take him down so we weren't able to wait for the perfect citadels but we didn't need citadels in that situation having six guns pointed at your ship broadside on from that close is gonna be a paddling whether they're citadels or not that's probably gonna be six penetrations and when penetrations run I want to say it's 9,000 damage in this ship maybe six to nine thousand damage we'll call it that that's a paddling either way <laughs> uh, so we didn't need pin it or we didn't need them but we were issued a challenge recently uh, about deleting uh, ships with one salvo I know he's not completely full health but that looks like a pretty solid deletion to me <laughs> and just like that the tides have turned I know, Wargaming, if you're watching this, you're welcome. I, I used your thing. Hear that? I'm a professional. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to turn and engage the rest of the Reds. We now have control over two caps. I say we now have control. We have control over the center cap, and we should take control over the A cap, as long as my team doesn't completely fumble this. In theory, we have two caps. They have one, we have one, and we're about to get a second. Anytime now, fellas. <laughs> is, is somebody... Okay, there we go. Somebody finally got into the base. But as you can see, we've got an Atlanta out here. We didn't lead him enough here. I'm not going to lie. That was a very, very long shot. And that Atlanta turned hard. I should have led him more. And now he's going to get away from it. And that, the one dispersion round that decided to go off on its own was actually the closest to hitting him. So, uh, got a little bit of favorable RNG, just not quite good enough. No heat seeker rounds today. But, this is where I start outplaying the Reds. So, I know that their battleship, the Amagi, is out on my far right. I know that their Atlanta was just spotted in front of me going left towards B. I am going to bow tank the Amagi. And then I'm going to focus the cruisers off to my left and I say cruisers because I was expecting the Atlanta and then he came out with a buddy <laughs> so with that in mind we're about to get into a fight <laughs> but the important thing here is prioritizing defense in a battleship okay I know that there are two cruisers out there one of them is is bound to be high explosive spamming me that is the Atlanta we also have a Colorado out here. And then a New Orleans joins the fight. 
Now, the New Orleans is the healthier of the two, and technically the more dangerous for me, because of those 203mm armor-piercing rounds that are fantastic. But that being said, we just took half his health. And again, watch the front of my ship. Do you see on the map where the, the battleship is spotted? So while I'm fighting these guys, I'm going to be trying to angle against the Amagi. I ain't doing it yet, but that's what's going to happen here real soon. I'm more focused on these guys at the moment. The Amagi's not in a great position at this time to do a lot of damage to me. But he's getting close, and as you can see, I look over at him, and I start to turn the front of my ship towards the Amagi. We've already put a hurting on the New Orleans. He's down. He's going to be dead anytime. So now we need to prioritize the Atlanta. Because fire. Fire isn't one of those things that you got to worry about right away in a battleship. But anytime there's an Atlanta there, fire is a very real danger. So we send a, a full salvo at this Atlanta who was stopped and we get all the penetrations and down he goes. And that leaves me in the perfect position to take advantage of this battleship who has up to this point not been fired at by me. So he is in the perfect position to get ruined. <laughs> He, he got overconfident. He's like, oh, this guy ain't even shooting at me. I can just sit here broadsiding him all day long. Well, Sunshine, you've run out of teammates. And now you're broadside to an Iowa. And that's not going to be a good day for you. Now, he's cutting towards me a little bit. So I've got to watch my angle. And again, we turn in. We don't want to go full straight. But if we can present a decent angle here. We don't really have to worry about penetrations. Now, we, he did bust one of our main turrets right off the bat. So we're about to get it back. We get this shot right through the center, and there's the Citadel. He's lucky he, that wasn't two or more. That should have been a kill shot. But And that definitely should have been a kill shot. But, you know, can't have that. So I'm going to hurry up and try to go give him the rear gun, see if I can't finish him off before he gets his guns loaded. And he does shoot me. But we shoot him, and we don't finish him again. What is in the world is going on? But we get our guns back, and surely we finish him this time. But that is why I wanted to show you guys this match. Um, it's not the most damage game I've ever had, obviously. But it was a solid game. We end up with four kills, three citadels, 125,000 damage with a devastating strike. Top of the leaderboard with 2,800 XP. But it's one of those that has teaching moments all throughout. So initially, we get, that's just how the game can change throughout a match, right? Initially, we have the, we've got to bow tank this guy. we got to make sure that we're not getting obliterated. We, we've got to, you know, save our hit points as best we can. Use his mistake to get the better of him. And then plan an attack on the rest of the enemy team. So... If you like what I'm doing, punch a like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.